Hey folks, today is June the 3rd. We finally got a signal that I happen to be at my computer to take. As you guys can see here, it says a buy on AUD CAD, current market price. It also gives us our stop loss and three take profit levels. Wasn't able to catch these other trades. I wasn't home for this one, 4.53 a.m. Obviously, I wasn't there for that one. So we're going to try and at least get one or two trades this week here. And let's see here. Where is it at? AUD CAD. And as you can see here, we have AUD CAD up on the one hour chart. We have a $5,000 SIM account. And I have a trade management product that I've been uh, testing out. That's why the balance is a little bit above $5,000. I've actually tried multiple trade management softwares. And unfortunately, most of them didn't work properly or rather I couldn't get them to work properly, I should say. All right, so let's pull this back a little bit. And one thing we can do, let me see, where was that stop at? All right, so the stop was at 0.9287. AUD CAD, 0.9287. So this needs to come up a little bit. All right, so about right there. That's one thing about this. Uh, there it is. 9287. There it is. Okay. So that's where our stop is going to be, right there. What was that? 92831. All right, that's close enough here. All right, let's see where our take profit levels were so we can pull those up real quick. All right. Third take profit is going to be at 0 0.94809. All right, so let's highlight this. 0 0.94. Okay, so that's way up there. Let's bring this down some. All right, there we are. First take profit is 93356. Actually, we're going to go backwards here. All right, next highest is going to be 93841. This is one of our take profits. All right, so around right there. And let's get on this last one. 93356. Last one. All right. So here's going to be our profit target around right here. And I'm pretty sure I have a break even in there. All right. So with this uh, particular expert advisor that's going to be managing our trades, it's going to take off our first order right here second order right here and final order if the market gets there up here and obviously this is going to be our uh, stop loss you get rid of that and that all right and I'm actually going to let you guys see because like I said I did have to go through quite a few expert advisors before I actually found one that would uh, work for us because the fact that they have three profit targets means that I need something that will push us to break even once we reach a certain point. So I don't have to sit here and uh, continue to watch the trade. And in this instance, I should have made this maybe 0 0.40. That's what I should have done. All right, but we're just getting started, just learning. All right, so let's keep on going here. Obviously, manage all trades, future trades only. Both of those are set to true. We come down here. It allows you to set up a hit and stop loss and again that's uh going to be hidden to your broker this right here is the regular stop loss area i have mine set to hard which means it does show up here as you guys can see all right so stop loss method fixed and what you guys saw is that it put on a 45 pip stop loss to begin with all right and that's what you can see right here you can also uh set it up 
to give you a stop based on the ATR and the risk. But obviously, we're uh, following along with the settings that they gave us. So I didn't need to mess with any of that. All right, use break even is set to true. Break even point for me is going to be 20. So that means once we get, where is it at here? I think this is set to 25. It might be 25 uh, pips away. Anyway, we'll leave it where it is right now. Like I said, it's going to be our first uh, real trade going into this. So we might make a mistake here or there. But as you guys can see, trailing stop, I have that set to zero, not trailing. Let's keep on scrolling down. And if you guys want this uh, trade manager, just shoot me an email and I'll send it over to you guys. Because like I said, I have tried quite a few. And this is the only one that actually worked for uh, what I needed. All right, take profit method. As you guys can see here, I have it set to one. And that is 45. Now we're getting into the multiples here, the take profit levels, the partial closes. As you guys can see here, we have two partial closes. And actually, it's set to take profit ratio. All right, what that means is this right here, TP level, that shows 25% and 50%. But obviously, like I said, this doesn't really matter because we're going to alter the uh, profit uh, levels based on what, where is it at here? Based on what they show here for us. So these are the levels we're going to use regardless, but this just gets it up here for us. So in order to uh, have it set up the way I have it set up, you're going to want to put two uh, partial close levels here and TP lot percent. That means that after the market reaches this first take profit level, it's going to close 50% of the trade. So that means this is going to drop down to 0 0.05 once that gets filled. After it reaches this next level, it'll close another 50% of the trade. Okay, so that's kind of how that works. And then it'll close out anything that's left up here at this profit target. All right, so that's how everything is uh, set up here. And I can show you guys. Give me one second. All right, I want you guys to see some of the other uh, experts to manage trades. You guys can see here Trade Manager 2.0, Forex School Online Trade Manager, CLM02 complete uh, trade manager and what I'm currently using is the um, I guess this is version 3 trade manager here all right so that's kind of where I'm at right now and I was able to find a uh, video where the individual that actually uh, created it goes over all the settings and everything like that and it is free out there so you guys can search for it or like I said just shoot me an email and I'll uh, send it over to you all right so we're going to uh, leave this running and I'll come back and we'll see what uh, happens. Almost forgot. If we come back and the trades closed out, we won't have these levels anymore. So I want to just mark these just to kind of give us an idea of where our levels were. And we'll do one right here where we got entered into the trade. And let's make this one a little bit different. All right, so this tells me that we got into the trade here. We got a stop here and we got three profit targets. So come tomorrow, if uh, this trade is closed out, it will either have uh, gone up and hit a few of our profit targets or will have uh, come down and hit our stop loss right here. I wish I could actually catch it when it uh, gets up to 20 pips right around right there. And it'll bring us up to break even here. But I'm not going to be able to uh, sit around and watch it. So I'll come back maybe tomorrow and we'll uh, just see what's happened to this trade. I'm going to do one more thing here just so I know where we were. We entered about right there. All right, folks. See you guys momentarily. Hey folks, it is now June 4th, 7.34 in the morning, and as you can see, this is where we entered the trade, went up a little bit, went down a little bit, but otherwise, it's been just going uh, sideways here. So because of that, we might be able to uh, catch it on video after we get 20 pips in the profit. I really want to see this uh, automatically move up to uh, break even here. 
And hopefully we'll be able to get our first profit target before the weekend comes. All right, folks, I'll pause it and hopefully uh, something of interest will happen soon. Hey, folks, just wanted to give you guys a quick update here. As you guys can see, we had a nice spike up in our direction of about 12 pips. And to hit 20, this is uh, approximately where that level would be. So we just need a little bit of a bump up here to about this level. And we should see our stop loss move up to break even. So I'm excited to see if that actually happens. I just saw quite a large uh, bump up there, and I'm hoping it continues to push up so that I can catch it on video. I just want you guys to see how this uh, trade manager works. But of course, we can't control the market, and it will uh, take its sweet time if it wants to. So we'll just have to be patient here and see what happens. But it's definitely moving in the right direction. We just passed this previous level that we had uh, got up to overnight. So we just need a little bump up. Very close. I mean, literally, if we can just get a couple more pips up, we should be able to uh, see it happen. All right, so things are cooling down a little bit. I'll pause it, and uh, once we get back up there, I'll come back so I can try and catch it on a video here. All right, guys, it's now 8.17 in the morning. And as you can see, we are once again right back at that previous high. And I'm hoping that the market will be able to uh, push up past it and go ahead and let us hit that 20 pip mark. And what we're expecting to happen is our stop should move up to break even. And obviously there's no telling if I'm actually going to be able to uh, catch that on video here. Because I do have to leave in about uh, 20 minutes or so. All right. And as you guys just saw, our stop move from right here all the way up to two pips in profit. So that worked exactly as it was supposed to. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. So going forward, I might uh, set it from, instead of 20, I might set it to 25. Because it looks like our first profit target is about 25 pips away from the entry price. But at least we can see clearly that that is working the way it's supposed to. And where is it at here? We got trailing set to off. Use break even. This is it right here. Set to true. And you can see here break even point is 20 pips, which is what we just saw. And it's two pips in profit. So that's uh, how everything is set up right now. And as always, our take profit levels are the same as I showed you guys earlier. Once we pass this yellow line, 50% of our order will be uh, closed out. And then if we get up here, 50% of the order that's left will be closed out. And like I said, going forward, I'll probably uh, change the lot size to 0 0.40. Because I think 0 0.10 might have been a little small. All right, but we're currently up about $15, so we'll just uh, pause it and come back. Hopefully, uh, when I come back a, a bit uh, later in the day, we'll have passed through this first level here. All right, be back uh, a little bit later. Hey, folks, just wanted to uh, come back real quick. We're getting uh, very close to our first profit target here. And as I mentioned earlier, if it passes this level... This will most likely drop down to a 0.05. So it should take out 50% of our total order 
at this level and I'm just checking to see if maybe we can catch that live on video as well I'm not gonna let this video run too long so I'll pause it and as we uh, start to get another nice push up I'll come back hopefully and see if we can catch it hey guys back with another quick update as you can see we got pretty close to our uh, profit target but market is starting to come down and even, honestly even if it does come down and uh, take us out here it'll be two pips in profit and also this was just our kind of first run here which means we've learned something and what we learned is that our break even needs to be 25 pips not 20 so that's definitely good information for you guys as well for those of you that will end up using this uh, trade manager with trade error so we'll keep watching it you know it's uh still possible it'll push back up here and uh, get us that first profit target but if not you know it's good information that we learned from it and we'll take that two pips all right guys i'll pause it again and i'll come back uh once something happens hey folks it is now 10 56 in the morning want to uh, give you guys this update as you can see we took uh, our first profit target right here and as you can see the uh, trade manager did exactly what it was supposed to do it took us out for uh, okay so 0 0.05 is what it closed out at this level and right now if we get up to this level it'll close out um, half of this 0 0.05 so I'm really happy with the way this thing is uh, performing here and the signal we got from trade era obviously is performing well also it's a relatively small lot size and we're currently up almost 30 bucks here so definitely looking good on that and let's see what actually closed out all right so as you guys can see here ten dollars and 43 cents closed out right there all right so as we get closer to this level i will uh come back to you guys and maybe we can uh catch it taking that trade out in action all right be back momentarily all right folks i really thought we'd get something of a pullback after this uh big bar here this big up bar but it looks like the market's uh, continuing to push up and we are let me see here should be one or two pips away from our profit target So we'll see if we can uh, run through it here. Like I said, I'm just going to try and catch it so we can actually see everything happening in action. With this uh, changes to a smaller lot size and us getting taken out of the trade. We are very close, guys. Very close. We get one more little push up. And that should take us out of our second uh, profit target. And that's going to be, wow. So we're currently up 90 pips. on this second order. All right, so it looks like we came right up to our profit target and then bounced down a little bit. So I'm going to uh, pause it and I'll come back once we get uh, close up here again. I do expect some form of a pullback after that huge move here. So we'll see what happens. All right, folks, literally a couple seconds ago, the market pushed up past our second profit target. And as you can see, this blue line shows us where we were uh, taken out. And so all we have in right now is our last profit target. And that's 155 pips. And we can take a look here real quick. This is that trade that just closed out for uh, $21.19. And of course, we have our 
stop loss that is now uh, plus two pips past our break even point. All right, so we'll just continue to let this manage it and see what happens. I might uh, look at using that trailing stop at some point in the future. Right now, I'm trying to see if I want to move my stop up, maybe right here, but I'm trying to let this uh, trade manager handle most of the work here. Tell you what, I'm just going to let it run. Instead of moving my stop and things like that, I'm just going to let it run. And if it uh, comes back and stops us out, so be it. Let me see here. Another option would be to uh, set it so that it does like a break even plus 10 or something like that. Because our first profit target is 25 pips. So we could do break even plus 10 or 15. So that's another option. Anyway, we'll see what what happens here. All right, be back momentarily. I almost forgot. I wanted to show you guys the uh, 20 pips and dip website. The indicator is uh, set up right here, as you guys can see. So this is the actual indicator. And there's also, uh, this is, I'm guessing, the main strategy. Then there's a master class and a trading plan. So this is uh, a lot of good information that you guys will get. And obviously, like I said before, anybody that uses my link to sign up for TradeEra, I will get you guys set up with a free membership and also the uh, free indicator as well. All right. I'm not sure if I'm going to go through and uh, actually uh, run through and take trades with this yet. For right now, I'm just going to focus on the indicators. But if you guys want me to, just let me know. And I could look at uh, going through the course here and using the indicator and seeing how it works. All right. I'll be back. All right, folks. It's now a little after 1 p.m. I wanted to give you guys another quick update. As you can see, we've definitely... Uh, pulled back quite a bit after this uh, big up bar right here and at present we're currently about 37 pips in profit I am considering moving my uh, final take profit basically or moving my stop up to the level of that first uh, profit target here just to lock in a bit more profit about 27 28 pips it is possible that, you know, the market after making such a big up move is going to give us a little pullback before continuing up. So let's see here. I might need, now I'm going to need to grab it underneath it. Get rid of that. That's the one problem I've had with this uh, expert advisor where it manages is uh, getting it in just the right way so that it will move the stop. Because if you don't, all right, let me pause it and see what's going on with that. All right, it looks like I was having issues because uh, our uh, stop was right at the level that our initial entry was and I was having a hard time I had to actually grab it right above it as you guys can see there now it's letting me move it but let's go ahead and just push it up to about right there and that'll give us an extra 28 pips if it uh drops down to that level or it'll possibly continue to push up we'll just have to wait and see all right, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and pause it again, and we'll see what happens. Hey, folks, just another quick update. It's currently 8.11 in the afternoon. As you guys can see here, I've moved my stop up just a little bit. I'm going to look ahead and out here shortly, and I know tomorrow morning is a non-farm payroll, so I'd ideally like to be out of this trade before I leave this afternoon. So hopefully I can wrap this up and get a video out to you guys for uh, the trade error signals, which is what this is. So either way, it'll go uh, up or it'll come down eight pips and take us out. So one of the two things should happen momentarily. At this point, as you can see for the past five or six hours, we've just been going sideways here. 
So I'll come back once we're uh, out of this trade, and then I'll hopefully be able to get it uploaded tonight. All right, folks, it's now 9.30 in the afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut things down here. I'm not going to be able to uh, manage it tomorrow morning going into non-farm payroll. So we'll just go ahead and take the profit that we have already, and that is going to be, see how many pips we're up. All right, guys, we're up 48 pips on the uh, last bit of that trade. So we'll go ahead and shut that down. And we can go ahead and take a look here. All right, so as you guys can see, AUD CAD, we made $10.43 on the first trade, $21.19 on the second, and on the last that we just closed, we had $7.36. So a very good start to our testing with the trade era uh, signals. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, get more. I'm not sure about tomorrow. I know with non-farm payroll and it's also Friday with the market closing and everything. So maybe a uh, Monday or next week I'll have more time and I'll be able to get more trades so that we can uh, get a better idea of how they work. And again, if you guys want the information on this uh, trade manager, just send me an email or you can find it online. There are a few different versions of it. And I had to go through them, like I said, to find one that actually uh, worked for me. Anyway, that's going to be it. I'll see you guys on the next video. If you guys have any questions on Tradera, don't hesitate to ask me. Or if you want to try the signals out for yourself, you guys can click the link below. All right, take care, folks.